The high street has borne much of the brunt, one of the worst affected sectors alongside hotels and restaurants. This comic book retailer worries for the future. I think the biggest issue for us is, is just getting through, I guess, a quarter of not having any trade because there's a, there's a ton of money there that we've not had. We're obviously, um, landlords need to be paid. Here in the city of London, Yeah, it's, it's been it's been really tough. I mean, um, we were told fairly quickly that you know it was going to be initially not the um, non-essential. Then it was non-essential. So um, I guess the plans were just around how we moved uh, and moved our business onto an online platform as quickly as possible. Because we had a website we didn't probably put a lot of work into. We then found that maybe the best thing to do would be to actually do the website, um, get more stuff onto eBay, and literally went through probably thousands and thousands of items of stock and put it online, got the staff all in, into one unit in Bromley and literally spent 11, 12 weeks just doing that. And um, between that and the support of our loyal customers, we've kind of managed to keep ourselves above water, but it's been a tough, tough um, 12, 13 weeks. And, and now looking forward, um, you're having to reopen the Bromley Market and you're going to have to look at other things as well. What I mean, it's absolutely massive. I mean, it, I guess it's going to be a little bit interesting to see how customers react because we don't know whether they'll um, they'll come in as normal. You know, I'm hoping they do. Um, but you know, it's absolutely massive for us to just go and get some footfall. Um, and you know, I'm guessing that if we continue with what we've been doing, and then um, we have the added bonus of people walking off the street as well, it should be an absolute you know, real shot in the arm that we could really need at the moment. So if we talk about myself, I feel, I feel very optimistic, that's, that's much in my nature. I think in terms of the high street, I'm really worried. Um, I think that there's a massive challenge in terms of the stores have seen a, a, probably a, a real recess from before the, the, this quarter in terms of uh, rent quarter. So they, they struggled to, in last last quarter, but we had a bit of a support around the fresh plant. Now this quarter coming, landlords will be wanting their rent in full. And we've not traded for a quarter, the majority of us. So I think it's going to be a massive detriment to the to the um, high streets, and um, I guess to a lot of retailers, it's going to be might be the, the bit that pushes us over the edge. But you know, it's, I think the government's done as much as they can, maybe. But um, it has obviously been without a quarter's worth of sales, that might be the difference between a lot of businesses staying open and not. So um, you know, I don't I don't know how how we get around it, but I think there will. I'm hoping the demand will be back. It's just whether businesses will be in a position to to take advantage of that. I think small businesses are, are probably more important. I mean, I think there's a lot of people that rely on small businesses. I think small businesses are a lot more intimate and, and, and serve as a lot more part of the bigger picture of the high street. I mean, you have your corporations, but then the small people on the high streets, um, obviously other businesses are part side from retail. You know, I think small businesses are very, very important. And I think without that, that economy, which, you know, if you think of cafes and restaurants and all the rest of it, I think it's going to be really tough if we all disappeared and just left with a big corporation because already it's gone that way a little bit and I think this could um, this could tip it over the edge but I don't um, 
I don't know what the right answer is. You know, I'm hoping that, um, that again, trade bounces back and hopefully people have, have put a bit, a bit of money away for the rainy day. It doesn't help that, just seem like Australia was easing off. We were talking about it and then obviously with Brexit, you know, it's, it's kind of impacted a lot of people. And I think that um, on the back of those two big things now with a pandemic on top, I do think it's going to be tough times, but um, I'm hoping, I'm hopeful and optimistic that we will, we will get through it. I'm just um, worried about, I worry about other people in my industry in comics. You know, and I worry about um, the high street in general, especially like restaurants. And I've got a lot of people that are friends of mine that own restaurants and cafes. And you know, for them, it's 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 double worse because they don't even have a date to get back yet. So I think it's um, tough. Mm. Talking talking about that sort of community you're, you're part of, whether that's fellow business owners, mm. the ones who your neighbours with in Kingston. Um, I don't know if you, you discussed today, but is the feeling that actually you get this? I mean, I, I think, I think with, with in terms of us, I think the biggest issue for us is, is just getting through, I, I guess, a quarter of not having any trade because there's a, there's a ton of money there that we've not had. We're obviously, um, landlords need to be paid. Um, I guess the bigger the scale, then the more that, that impacts that business. And I think in terms of, of restaurants and cafes and 